A fantastic weekend in March Madness. We have Dustin DePirac of the Bloomington Herald Times. Dustin, uh, thank you so much for joining us. You saw fa two fantastic games in Dayton, Ohio yesterday. Let's start with Ohio State. Aaron Kraft, we were talking about how he had such a horrible game, and then it turned into, into a fantastic game because he saved the day with, uh, well, with the game-winning shot. 78-75, to they beat Iowa State, overcome a 13-0 run that Iowa State went on. Uh, when you saw the play, did you think that it was a charge, uh, that it was the correct call? I didn't at the time. I, mean, I didn't have a great look at it. You know, from our angle, it was uh, you know, tough to tell because the specifics of that are whether or not his back foot is in the restricted area or not. But it seemed like from, from replays that it seemed like he was uh, a little bit too close to the restricted area. And yeah. probably, I mean, I, I thought he got there a little bit late, uh, that the guy was up in the air before, uh, before he was there and planted. You know, I mean, we even got some kind of just response from uh, the NCAA. They handed out sort of a release saying, you know, this is what we thought. And, right. uh, you know, it's a judgment call. It's a tough play at the time. And I think by the time he got hit, he was probably set. And most of him was outside the restricted area, but he was probably close enough to it that, uh, you know, probably should have been a block instead of a charge. From what we saw in the replays, his heel was not in the restricted area. Now, can a referee see that unless they are literally looking at his feet and their face is touching the ground? They probably can't yeah. see it from the angle that they're at. So, as you said, it's a judgment call. This is, these are objective calls. And you know what? Yeah. He may have got one wrong. I was talking to Reed Forgrave of Fox Sports last night about this. And, you know, it's, it's such a judgment call because they're going to get so many right, but the one that they get wrong is going to be, you know, it, it's going to fall under a harsh microscope and harsh criticism by so many people. That was not the only controversial call yesterday. In the Illinois-Miami game, Illinois is going for the upset, the seventh seed against the two-seed Miami Hurricanes, who are a very strong team, by the way. And uh, Kenny Kaji, with 40 seconds left, the ball goes off his hands, it goes to Illinois. So let me ask you this, should the NCAA, and you know, in March Madness in general, because it's such a big time for these schools to have upset bids, and the fact is, you just want to get the call right. Should they go to a video review, let's say, in the last two minutes or last minute of games? Makes sense to me. I mean, I, I'd, I'd be okay with that. It, it, it's like you want to use this technology, but you don't, you don't want to overuse it to the point that you're uh, making the game slow to a crawl. I mean, obviously, we have this capability, and that's why these the, uh, these referees are under such a tough microscope. Is it used to be that uh, you know all it, all it was was the play happened once, and maybe you see a replay, but now you can slow it down and you know to such an extent, and and you know really kind of hone in on absolutely everything and see whether they were right or whether whether they were wrong. And it seems like they're wrong more often now, but it's more so, I think, because we, we know, because we get to see it, we get to watch it a thousand times over right. uh, in slow motion replay, and we act like we could have done a better job. And the fact is we couldn't. They do a lot better job than people will ever give them credit for. What do you think of Ohio State? I mean, they gave up that huge lead at the end. Aaron Kraft misses a, fru a few front ends of one and ones uh, Looks like he's going to be the GOAT, and then he turns into the hero. He had, I believe, 18, yeah, 18 points to Sean Thomas at 22. What do you make of Ohio State? Uh, well, I think, you know, Aaron Kraft, I think it was one of the great GOAT-to-hero performances that I've ever seen in, in college basketball just because, I mean, it, at one point he looked so bad, and I can't remember uh, just who the defender was that got after him. Uh, that he just tried to put the ball behind his back and just lost it. I mean, you could just tell that he was so flustered and so sort of losing it with the, the missed free throws, and then he has that turnover, and then he has a bad foul on the other end to get, I think, it's either his third or his fourth, and he just seemed to be totally melting down and collapsing, having just a personal meltdown. Uh, and it's tough, I think, to, to deal with a situation like that. I mean, when you've been sort of, you know, a solid guy, I mean, he, you know, obviously he's not their best player, Deshaun Thomas is, but he's the guy that they rely on. He's the guy that that kind of straightens everybody else out and makes that team run, and he was just totally losing it. But it was like literally with just like one play, he changes it all around. And for him to hit that shot, I mean, it looked like just a messy possession. It was sort of back-to-back -back messy possessions. Uh, but he just kind of decided, I'm, I'm hitting this. I'm winning this game. Uh, you know, they've got a, a pretty clear-cut bracket, you know, a pretty pretty clear path in that bracket now sure. because everybody else has gotten beat. Um, you know, all the you know they're they're the only seed higher than a six right now, and they defend well. They they mess up everybody else's game. Kraft is the key in that, just because he gets after you and drives you crazy for the entirety of 40 minutes. And then they've got you know again really Scott and Kraft as two really point guard defenders, lead ball defenders that cause turnovers, get after you, and they can win games that way. Four of the top five seeds now are gone in the Western region with Gonzaga, New Mexico, uh, Kansas State, and uh, Wisconsin. I actually like Arizona to pull off the upset here in Los Angeles. I believe that game is on Thursday. But, you know, Ohio State just has like, they have those five starters 
that just tear you apart. I mean, as you said, they only have one true score, and that's true, and he's a hell of a score. But Aaron Kraft, Deshaun Thomas, LaQuinton Ross, I really like. They have a lot of length. I mean, again, the one thing that I saw throughout the Big Ten regular season was that they just didn't seem to be a great rebounding team. When you're making shots, it doesn't seem like that's important at all. So, okay, Ohio State, Arizona, give me your uh, quick take. You, you know, you mentioned Ross and Thompson. Those guys are, are, are great athletes. And I think Ross was some sort of the guy that everybody was waiting to see blow up. Yeah. Uh, and you started to see that a little bit, I think, uh, just on, on in Sunday's game. You know, he, he's definitely got the capability. I mean, when they lose Thomas eventually, I think he's going to be maybe the focal point of that team, uh, you know, going forward the next couple of years. He's, he's just a really talented kid. And if he can play along with Thomas like he has, uh, you know, they've got a real shot. I mean, he can shoot the ball. You know, he's not a great shooter, but he's good enough. Just really athletic and go get put backs and that sort of thing. And that, that sort of makes a difference. And, and I guess if they have a big game from Ross, if you see Kraft kind of continue, just continue his momentum, uh, get Thomas going, they're going to be really tough to beat.